Hey, it's, it's almost 10 a.m. on a, my days off here. My buddy owns a cabinet making company and they haul cabinets around with this enclosed trailer and they can't do a delivery with it because, let's see if we'll focus, that happened. Pretty common on trailers like this. The frames are uh, kind of thin there. So, it's been welded once before in an emergency and then they forgot to, you know, didn't have the time to do it again. So I'm gonna clean it up, uh, lower it back on there while it was stick. Put lots of weld on there. Might even put uh, fish plates, reinforcement plates on it. I don't know. We'll see. So, I'll get to it. Hey, first order of business. Make this as easy as possible. So, I'm gonna break off the lugs on this wheel and remove it. Get it out of the way. Oh, has that been off in a while? Okay, I don't have jack stands, but I got firewood and some two by sixes. So we'll see if I can set it down on that. weld ground off prep the block a bit gonna lower it in place line it up and then uh, clean it up a bit more and weld it okay with uh, putting my firewood jack stands under it using a pry bar and doing some jacking because it slipped out of place there I have it lined up exactly where it was and it's uh this is thick the bracket obviously the frame is pretty rotted and it's pretty thin so i'm going to do a, my first pass all with mig and then go over it with stick after because the mig is probably going to shoot right through and i'll be able to basically open root weld this whole thing as it's uh you can see that there that's that's where the weld broke before too there's not much there so yeah mig will do the best uh root pass Filling those holes, grind it down after. I'm gonna pad some stick on that and then fish plate it.
Okay, so I have my girlfriend's dad's uh, ATV trailer. It's, uh, I think it's homemade pretty well. And uh, the tongue has some issues. So we got a crack here. We also on the bed have a crack here. The tailgate has been tacked, tacked into the body so it doesn't come out. So I gotta do that, cut the tacks on that. And then underneath the thing. We got a weld in here, that's cracked. It's cracked out on both sides of this piece of conduit or channel, whatever it is. Um, yeah, so this is actually bolted in. There and there, two bolts at the bottom. And uh, so it wobbles without welds. So I'm basically welding it as extra support and so that doesn't shake around like that. Okay, so that's what it kind of looks like after it's cleaned up. I got four more spots to grow. Never mind, that attached to these. It was just rusted shut. 